So the real world asset boom is dependent on data. Without data, you're not really going to be able to make real world assets because data is the real world part of real world assets. Chainlink is the largest provider of data the, for on-chain assets, for all real world assets. It's been that way for many years. It's enabled the vast majority of DeFi transactions that require data. It's enabled a large amount of cross-chain transactions, a large amount, amount of compute-related transactions, and has enabled, all in all, over $9.6 trillion in total transactional value. That is a certain level of security and reliability that other sy systems simply don't have. So when you're making a real-world asset, you're going to need the data, and you're going to need an ability for that data to be highly reliable and secure. The second thing that all banks, asset managers, financial market infrastructures will need is for all of those real-world assets they just created to become connected to interface with other assets, to interface with other chains, to move across chains. And this connectivity is really what liquidity is. Liquidity will work on the basis of being able to connect one chain to another chain in order for that liquidity to flow and result in transactions about that real world asset. That's the second thing the Chainlink network provides. And then the third thing that it provides is in addition to providing the initial data and the connectivity so that liquidity and transactions can happen, it allows all of those assets to stay on other chains, but remain connected to the data. So an asset can go from chain A to C to D to whatever chain, but it will continue to stay updated with the proof of reserves, the data, all of these critical pieces of information as it is efficiently and securely moved to all the different places where people want to purchase it. And this is a capability that really only the Chainlink platform has because the Chainlink platform is the only system right now that can both provide highly reliable, secure data and computation for the contracts to work correctly, and connectivity. And that's really what needs to be combined by banks, asset managers, financial market infrastructures to generate this new world of decentralized financial market infrastructures, digital assets, real world assets, and so on.